do you want to play the fucking game? Sir, just kill me. Here, I'm just gonna walk forward and you can just keep shooting my body. Hello, and welcome to James the Less Express Lane, where we get you in and out as fast as possible with... Wow, guys, you really must be enjoying the game. There's so many of you watching. DSP is viewbotting himself again. Now, he's done in the past. You know, I have 10,000, 20,000 people watching. How many people do you think he's viewbotting himself with? It's whatever number you're thinking, it's more. I know what you're thinking. 50,000? Keep going. 60? Ah, 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 keep going. 70? 80? Come on, you can't be. 90? Nope, keep going. 95? Oh, if only. Keep going. He's view biting himself with. Dun, 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 101 thousand bots and maybe a hundred thousand bots and a thousand actual people watching although usually only gets like three to four hundred so who knows i know this is crazy it's every single fucking day with this guy i swear every single day he's doing shit like this or the guys there's only four dollars in contributions i'm wearing tips help that's the actual thing from today's stream as well Actually, yeah, let's go check it out. Like I said, let's go check it out, and here it is. Okay, guys. <clears throat> All right, before we resume, thanks for chilling with me here today. Guys, please support the stream. Right now, we have $4 in contributions. <laughs> That's it. And it's two Super Chats. Let's get some contributions going. Let's get some Super Chats. Let's get some tips. We have no tips for today. Let's get our first tip in. And let's get some subs over on Kick, right? Let's get some subs. Guys, give me money. Let's do it. Let's get some support rolling so I can shout it out and then we'll get to our next topic. Our next topic is I want to watch a, a, a trailer live with you guys. Do a live react, okay? Guys, I can't watch anything live. I got to watch it first and write down notes and I can share my notes with you guys. Now suddenly he can. I wonder. Let's watch. Mind you, this there is at 1.25 speed. You're right. There was an anonymous sub. You're absolutely right. There was an anonymous sub on kick, and I missed it. Let me get that up on the leaderboard. It was anonymous. So I don't know who it was, but it was an anonymous sub. I just saw it. Thank you. I just checked, and it was there. So we're actually up to $9 of support. Thank you guys very much. Yay, they saved the stream. <laughs> With a single oh, sub. Cool. Yeah, I'm updating right now. I'm checking to see if when they're going to deliver... Well, when the next thing is fully delivered, they'll probably update the uh, the time again for today. So, uh -huh. okay. Oh, excuse me. So professional. Okay, here we go. All righty, everybody. So our next topic for today is I want... I've noticed he just clicked start recording. So all that part right there was unrecorded. So no one saw all those sneaky little bags, except for Raw Phil. To watch the official launch trailer for Dragon Age the Veil Guard with you guys. Now, to give you guys some perspective, okay? I originally played Dragon Age 2, <coughs> excuse me, back in the day when it was a brand new release. It was a lengthy RPG playthrough that I did for YouTube. <coughs> this was even before the era of me being an interactive live streamer. I think it went well, and I did like the game, but then people urged me to play the original, so I went back and I played Dragon Age Origins. Now, that was a messy playthrough because that game originally was really designed to be PC-centric, and they did port... No, it wasn't. I played it on PS3 just fine. And the DLCs. I was able to get the original game for like 20 bucks. So I went and bought all the DLC. Because it's so cheaper than 60 bucks for a brand new game. God, it's such a good game. Ported to console, but it definitely doesn't play well as a console game. It has a lot of issues <clears throat> where they kind of try to turn it into an action game. And it doesn't really work that well. That was where the infamous I Hate Skeletons meme came from way, way, way back in the day. Um, so there you go. Uh, but <clears throat> in regards to the series, years later... Dragon Age Inquisition came out as a brand new release, and at that point, I was a live streamer, and I was very excited to check it out. Now, a lot of people did not like Dragon Age Inquisition, citing that the game had been way dumbed down, that the themes were changed a little bit. Personally, they changed it I, for you, I, DSP. I, I thought it was an exceptionally good game, to the point where I got so yeah. immersed and really enjoyed it so much, it became my game of Imagine that. Guys, everyone complained that they made the game so dumbed down that even a frog could play it. They put the, the controller in a frog cage, and the frog go over there and play it and beat everyone. That's how dumbed down it was, which is why I thought it was the greatest game ever. 
of the year. But See? that was nine years ago, right? <clears throat> nine freaking years ago. Today, we're nine years removed from any Dragon Age content. So the question is, does anyone even care about the series anymore, right? After that insane wait, where the, sadly the company went and went and made Mass Effect Andromeda that sucked ass, and then they went and made, uh, what the hell was the name of the game that they made that flopped? I can't even remember what it's called anymore because it doesn't even exist, right? It was the, the you know, the, the co-op shooter or whatever it was. I can't even remember what it was because they were instructed to make that even though they didn't want to. Bioware was forced to make a shitty game. So now they're finally back with Veilgar. But everyone seems to be really torn about this game. Some people are like, yeah, this looks good. And others are like, wow, this game is a piece of dog shit. It looks like it's full of modern, you know, DEI stuff and the themes are ruined and it doesn't look or feel like Dragon Age anymore. Well, let's, let's do this. Let's watch the final trailer for Dragon Age The Veil Guard. Let's have a discussion live right here on stream. And let's figure out if this is a game that I want to play or not. All right? Today, I literally want... DSP, if you want to play a game, fucking play it. What he's saying here is, will you guys give me money to play it? Will someone donate the game, and then will you guys give me money while I play it? This right here is just what he does every single fucking day. Multiple times a day. All the bags, so many fucking bags. But, guys, tell me if I want to play the game. Why do we have to tell you if you want to play the game or not? Decide if you want to play the game. If you do, do. If you don't, don't. Uh, to make the decision. Am I going to be playing Dragon Age of the Veil Guard or are we skipping it? Okay? All right, let's figure this out. Let's do it live. Do it live, live on the podcast. Here we go. Ready? Uh-oh, nudity and sexual themes? DSP is going to hate that. Here's the volume. Okay, ready? Here we go. It's too fucking loud. Hold on. Why is it so fucking <laughs> loud? You just said you turned the volume up. Jim, I wonder why it's loud, because you just turned the volume up. Quickly. The fate of the world shall be decided soon. From electronic farts. Two ancient elven gods. They were horrific tyrants. The worst is still coming. I don't know about you, but at least graphically, looks fucking amazing. Unless we stop them. Then again, this is like cutscene, so this ain't game. Okay, here's maybe gameplay. Or not. This is okay. I gotta say something about these plots that make no fucking sense. Okay. What plot that makes? Dude, this is a trailer. There's a game in a series, and in the game, here's the plot, here's the big bad, here's everything that's so hyper-important. And so through an epic 40, 50, 60 hour journey, you overcome the, all the odds, you beat the big bad game over. All right? Then the next game comes out, right? And the next game is, oh, by the way, there was this other threat that was always there behind the scenes that we never even fucking mentioned whatsoever in any of the previous games of the series, and that was the overreaching threat worse than what you faced in the last one, even though we told you in the last one that was the end-all be-all. And this now is a priority. It's like, wait, what? So, for example, we played three Dragon Age games, correct? In any of those three games, did they ever mention that there were big, bad, elven gods in the Vale that at any moment could open up and invade the planet? Did they ever mention that? You remember that? Like, I remember in the Dragon Age games, sometimes you're going into the Vale and out of the Vale, and there's stuff involved. Do you ever remember that, they, oh, yeah, two giant gods could destroy? No. They just made it up out of nowhere. Guys... During the very first Star Wars movie that came out, they never mentioned that Darth Vader was Luke's dad. So then they just, guys, they never mentioned in the first one that came out that, that, that the Emperor was the senator and he caused the overthrow. And guys never mentioned that, you know, everything that happened with the Jedi happened like 15, 16 years earlier, which is pretty funny. That it's like, it's been what, 15, 16 years and all of a sudden... Boy, I've heard of the legends of Jedi, but I never thought they're real. Like, bitch, you're like 60 years old. The Jedi existed for like the first 45 years of your life. First 45 years of life, you met Jedi. You talked to them. Oh, you're a shopkeeper that, you know, you that you uh, inherited it from your parents. Well, guess what? Jedi stopped at your shop. You sold shit to Jedi. Acting like, oh yeah, a thousand years ago. Like, no, but it turns out with the prequels and all that that came out, it's like, no. Like, all this shit that happened was like 16 years ago. So in Star Wars Episode Four, New Hope, whatever you want to call it, 
when they act like, oh, wow, the Jedi? I've heard of those before. You know, from a thousand years ago in the myths. Then you find out, like, no, literally 16 years ago. So these people who were literally alive met Jedi. Did business with Jedi. Went to the Jedi temples and soul shit or celebrated stuff with Jedi. Then 16 years later, oh, wow, the myths. The myths of the Jedi from a thousand years ago. What? The Force is real? Bitch, 15 years ago, you're using the Force to cheat at fucking gambling with dice and all that. I mean, come on! But, you know what? That's a good fucking story. That you kind of, like, like, oh, wait a minute. He's right. In Episode 4 and 5 and even 6, they act like the Jedi are some long-forgotten mythology, and it's like, no. Majority of the people alive in the galaxy of Star Wars were alive when Jedi were alive. And of course, even after, you no know, episode three, you know, the fall of the Jedi and all that, but still hundreds of Jedi survived. When you go from, you no know, 10, 15,000 Jedi to a couple hundred, yeah, that's pretty much the extinction of the Jedi. But there was still Jedi alive for years. Years after Order 66, there was still plenty of Jedi. And yet, they act like in the, you know, Star Wars Episode Four, the first movie that came out, that the Jedi were a thousand years ago. The myth of the Force and all that, that's just, that's just folklore. In fact, uh, like the one guy that uh, Darth Vader chokes out in Episode Four, oh, uh, you can't scare me with your Hocus Pocus stuff. And it's like, bitch, you were alive. You're like in your 40s or 50s now. So you're alive. Like the majority of your life, Jedi were a thing. You've met Jedi. And so with DSP, guys, did they ever mention this before? Jurassic Park, my favorite movie of all time. Guess what? They never mentioned Site B in all of Jurassic Park. In the book or the movie. It's not until Jurassic Park, The Lost World, that Site B gets mentioned. But guys, they never mentioned a site being the first one. How are they going to pull this out of their ass? They never mentioned this before. <sighs> you know what, DSP? This is why we make fun of you all the fucking time. Because of shit like this. They're like, oh, now this is the big thing. That's what gets me. Like, for example, with a game that they just did this recently that it was a pet peeve of mine was Zelda. He had Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Oh, my God. Ganondorf's evil corruption is going over the land and taking everything over, and you got to stop it, right? So you fight these giant fights on these giant moving creatures that are actually dungeons, and you have to summon the power of the four legendary heroes to defeat Ganon, and you beat him. And then the next game comes out, Tears of the Kingdom. None of that mattered. It didn't. That was nothing. That you were fucking around because now the real big bad, the real Ganon, is here, and now you got to fight him, and it's completely different. Like, wait, what? If if the real Ganon was there, why didn't you just go fucking fight him to begin with? Why did we waste time? <laughs> right? There's a whole... Just say you hate Zelda games because people make fun of you for sucking at them. Game that was wasted then, right? Let's re let's retcon that whole game and pretend like Tears of the Kingdom is the real threat. Like, no, 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 no. It's the same thing here. Like, we had three different Dragon Age games, right? In Inquisition, it was about this, you know, demon coming out and you have to stop this from happening. But now in the next one, there's two elven gods now that are coming out of the veil. Like, wh 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 where was that in the plot before now? It's actually a pet peeve of mine. That when they, they, we're just going to retcon all the important stuff we taught you about the world building and all this shit from previous. Just write that off. Guys, how come during World War One they never mentioned that Nazis were going to rise up and cause World War Two? Kind of bullshit that, you know, all of World War One were fighting all these wars, all these millions of people were being killed, and no one thought to mention that Nazis were going to rise up and cause another World War. Probably like it never happened. Now we have a new plot for you. Well, no, fuck you. I played three other games that never mentioned any of this before. Why should I care about it now all of a sudden? Right? This is so dumb. Okay. Because it's a new story and a new game. And if you're a fan of the series, you're going to be like, holy shit, we got a new game in the series. Yes. Let's see. I played the first two, I think. Never played Inquisition. I have Inquisition. I have bought Inquisition. Do I still have it on disc or did I download it? I may have downloaded it. Eh, I got it on somewhere. I can play Inquisition whenever I want to. But I heard it was a bit of a shit show, so I never actually got around to playing it. That and so many other fucking games. Okay. Shut it down. I'm trying. The 
dead stir more easily than they should. I'd say this game looks really fucking good. The streets of Televiso get more dangerous by the day. Unari! The gods, I can feel their corruption. The cults gathering power. Dark spawn are charging the Weishaupt. You're the only force that can stop this. But not if they burn your castle to the ground. Get down! The other funny part is the whole trailer is cinematic like 23 frames per second like it's a movie. It's not a movie. It's a game. So why are they presenting it as if it's some kind of a movie? Gamers don't fall for this anymore, right? You see this trailer, you're like, this is not representative of anything that will actually be in the game, correct? This is just, it's a teaser for the plot, but this is not. The trailer is just a tease for the game? Who knew that the trailer for a video game was just a tease about the, no wait. DSP, you've annoyed me enough. I'm done with you. I'm gonna go, guys. This is, mind you, this is like two things that he's done today. There's more things. I might record more videos. But we'll the wait and see. With that, I'm gonna let you go. Thank you for watching. As always, like, subscribe, comment down below, and have one hell of a day.